You know, uh, it, it's a big deal, more so for, for those seniors, you know, those guys that have been grinding, a lot of them for five years, and, and, you know, there's a lot of different things that have gone on the last month or so, but all of them stayed focused, and I think as a coaching staff, and then and the players, not just the offensive players, but as a whole, stayed locked into why are you Bison, why are you here, and that's to go have an opportunity to try to win a national championship, and, and they did a nice job today taking care of that. For an outsider watching you, this seems routine, but for you guys, it has to be special. You know, it, it's it's really special. And, you know, Coach Kleiman talks all the time about what you did the, the last week, what you did last year has absolutely nothing to do with what's, what's going to happen this year and this week. And, and I, you know, I think our guys understood that, you know, it was a big game. Eastern Washington played well. They were a very, very good football team, but we did what we needed to do, and that's take care of the football for the most part and then score when we had opportunities to. Coach, do you envision your offense staying pretty much the same when you bring it to Kansas? You know, it's going to be similar, but we also just got to see a little bit what pieces do we have to that puzzle. And But we're always going to be physical. We're always going to run some gap scheme stuff. We're going to run zone scheme stuff. Um, we're going to try, to try to really run the ball well enough that we can then use play action pass. Um, you know, you want the quarterback to be a big part of it, but you also got to be smart. You know, the last two games, Easton carried the ball a lot more than he probably did the first 12 or 13 games and and that also comes back to third downs and red zone hey the quarterbacks the quarterbacks all in he he's got to be a ball carrier also and and we'll be able to do that there i'm sure what's the key to keeping defenses off balance when you do run the ball so often well you know even even though there was a couple play action passes that didn't work it still forces them to understand that we will throw the ball off those formations um now Fortunately, we were able to move the chains a bunch on some quick passing game stuff and then run the ball between the tackles. Um, and, and, you know, the, the biggest thing still goes back to can you find guys that just want to will themselves to a W? And that's what number 12 is for us. Uh, you know, Easton Stick does a great job of figuring out what do I need to do to give us the best chance to be successful. It's a different school at a different time, but you were in the league at Iowa State. Does that give you any advantage, you think? Yeah, I, I think it gives me an advantage, and I think that having Colin uh, staying with us is, is huge because he understands the Big 12. He understands what it means to be a quarterback that does whatever it takes to win. And, and fortunate and unfortunate, I know him very, very well as a player because because he obviously played against us a, a number of times, and and that's the mindset we need, and and he will continue to teach that with our quarterbacks. You mentioned this past month and how crazy it has been. Did the guys make it a point to tell you, Coach Ray, all the guys, like, hey, we're going to win this one for you? You know, no. Uh, very honestly, no. It never got spoken about. Uh, Coach Kleiman addressed it very, very early. And not one time in one of my individual meetings, not one time in a unit meeting was it ever talked about. Um, you know, all of them understand, hey, it is what it is. Uh, take care of why we're here and what we're here for. And, and they obviously did a good job with that. What's that say about the culture that they were able to block out that? Well, that is that is the main key. It's, it's the culture. And I know a lot of you guys uh, hear about it. But you know, Friday afternoon, we had over 300 former players at our practice. And our practice was basically a quick walkthrough and then pulled them up and had had the former players speak. One of our players spoke and Coach Kleiman spoke. And then they all just mingled for about about an hour just mingled talking talking about the 60s talking about the 2000s and, and it's really cool how do you start creating that culture at k-state well it's already there coach schneider's done a phenomenal job you know you, you know i i'm obviously not a young guy but i remember when coach schneider took the job and and, and i know what k-state was before and what it is has been in the last 29 years or so that he's that he's been the head guy and and that, that culture's already there. They, they understand what it means to, to play for their brother and, and, and give it up and, and hold each other accountable. And, and so that's already there. How much would I ask for Coach Riley? Oh, he, he, he's huge, huge because he's such a great teacher. You know, uh, not only are our are, are linemen physical, but they really understand the game. And that's one of the biggest things that he does probably better than most of the guys I've been around is get our guys to understand why they're doing what they're doing. And what is the defense really trying to do? Is this guy a kickout guy or is this guy a guy that's going to quote spill spill the guard as an example? So he'll he'll do a great job for us. So many of your fans the last few days have told us how they'll, they'll keep following you going forward, how they'll support you. How unique is that to have a fan base still supporting yeah. guys who are leaving their Well, it, it's really pretty cool. Um, and, and I think the biggest reason is because one, they're great people and, and love the Bison, but I think that Coach Kleiman has done a great job hiring people here that really understand that it's more about the people and the process than it is about winning. You let the winning somewhat take care of itself if you get the right people in place and you understand the process is the key.
Do you have any thoughts on what Kansas State did last year on offense from what you studied? You know, to be honest with you, it's kind of crazy. You, you might not believe me, but we've only worried right now about, about North Dakota State, with the exception of trying to, to know a little bit about what's going on with recruiting, have not done one thing yet with K-State. Is it... Uh, do you think it's an advantage to Kansas State to kind of cut against the grain with the run first offense? Oh, the yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that, that if you went in there and tried to be a, a spread, um, totally zone read, go fast, get 100 snaps a game, um, I, I just don't think that would, uh, you know, make us different, and, and we need to be different. We, we need to try to force defense coordinators in that league to defend everything, yet us truly be really good at something that we can hold our or hang our hat on. What most excites you about your next job? Uh, just the opportunity to, to, to go with Coach Kleiman and, and the staff and, you know, uh, Ted Monachino, the defense coordinator, I've known him since 1999. Obviously, Coach Kleiman, I've known him since we were, you know, fifth and sixth grade. Um, so that opportunity to go with a bunch of guys that have the same mindset as far as people got to be important, families got to be important. Um, it, it's just going to be a really, really exciting and fun time. Probably something you have to be able to think about, but what kind of areas do you feel most comfortable recruiting or you know, in general, I've, I've kind of been a, a Central Florida guy and then the Midwest, and that's pretty much because, because that's where I've, I've been. You know, I've recruited the Kansas JCs over the years, um, obviously recruited the state of Iowa, but also have recruited Missouri because I've coached in the state of Missouri for nine years, so, so I feel very comfortable with that state as well. And then I've been in the state of Florida a lot.